meeting to order. We'll start the prayer, then the pledge. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we come to you. Um, got a little touch of winter, but you look past the cold weather and see the color of the fall. And everybody wisdom to do what's best for our village. And this I pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> I want to welcome everybody. Um, roll call. I don't know. Marth. Here. Massa. Here. Eggley here. Clipper here. Martin here. And Beverly is sick today. Okay, approval for your approval. October third, regular council meeting minutes. Any additions, corrections? Motion to approve as written. Second. Roll call. Bassett yes. Martin yes. Clipper yes. Eggley yes. Marth yes. You have before you the bills. I think added a sheet. Yeah. It's on your look at those. Any questions? Is Dangler Excavating paid out on the valve replacement job? Yes. That's their final invoice. Finally, finally. Did that project come in on budget? Mm -hmm. Yep, right to the penny. <laughs> we would it would have been paid sooner, but Balmy Valley had the was it Balmy <clears throat> Valley? Cheryl had the invoice. They had been sitting on it and sitting on it for a month or two and they were handling that because of uh, CDBG money okay I was thinking that was cash that uh, was that a 35,000 of it was CDBG money um, is the pavilion where where's the is that all pretty much wrapped up mm -hmm. yep kitchen is done looks pretty good but there were some uncovered problems water damage problems as well, so we'll dig into that later. Um, and then are we wrapped up on the, the fence or the gate opener down there at the sewer plant? Yes. So it was just the two invoices, Darren and the RNC? Did I? The D Darren was, I think, two weeks ago. Yeah, one was yeah. for the fence and one was for the gate. Mm -hmm. So we had fence, gate, so there's three invoices. The other one was and Darren's. Darren's yeah. electrical. Yeah, yes. for the electrical. Yes. So where did the to what was the fence one? Or is this R and C fence or is that R and C fence? They built, fabricated the, the actual gate. Um, then they installed the operator and everything. And Darren. So there was technically two invoices I think from R and C. One was for just the gate. The other was for the install of the operator and the operator. And then Darren was the electrical work All the to the operator. It's an expensive gate. I'm hoping to give restitution after that. Right. Or is that? She was uninsured, right? We charge her as a criminal. Oh, okay. So only, yeah. So she was charged with felony vandalism. Right. So. Okay. Um, other than that, I think that's all I had. Any other questions? Make a motion. Second. Second. Roll call. Mark. Abstain. Massett. Yes. Klepper. Yes. Martin. Yes. Eggley. Yes. Uh, boards and commissions, Hicks TV board met September the 10th. Minutes are in the packet. <coughs> Any comments? <coughs> okay. Council committee reports police, fire, and EMS made committee met October the 5th. <coughs> Minutes are in the packet. Any questions on that? Get your budget turn in. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. If no comments on that. Finance committee met October the 10th. Minutes are in the packet. Pretty 
first big thing for the finance committee meeting was uh, was we're working on budgets. Cheryl gave us all the financials, and we really need to get all the budgets from all the department heads. I'm glad we got your Scott. So we, we meet again on October 25th, at three o'clock, to hopefully finalize everything. Uh, for by then. <laughs> He's the last one. Oh, I have a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, any questions for Eric? Okay, the building street light property committee met October the 12th. No minutes were available. Okay. I know, I was assuming that was a committee, but <laughs> apparently it wasn't, so. No, so I wasn't sure who the chairman was, so or who was supposed to take notes or send them in, since it was just, uh, it was dealing with, uh, the new possible municipal building down the road and we're just trying to get an idea of square footage uh, property that it would take how many acres and a, possibly how much cost it would be if we ever would decide to put all the buildings into one when it comes to a new, new municipal building. We had hired uh, Alexander Bebo to give a, a general idea and come on site and they walked around the building with Corey, checked out all the department heads and kind of seen what we needed. They come up with the first revision and they give it to the committee to look over and then uh, we had a lot of changes we'd like to make to it before they give us a second uh, rendition of it. I know the police chief would like to have some sayings on, on his area too. So that's yeah, pretty much what we met about and just kind of went over. Didn't know about it or I probably been there. I don't probably, yeah. Okay. After we finalize the layout, then do we start looking for land that this will fit on? Is that how the timeline works? Yeah, for the most part, I mean, Taylor is yes and no so this at this point it's just basically preliminary so they've got i think two revisions three three revisions in there but it's not full arc like they're not it'll get maybe to schematic level that then we would go out to like an rfp and actually engage a an architect okay. that'll basically take it through the state or an architect or i think bebo has a, has architects on staff as well but they would be basically we would do it, submit an rfp for um, design professionals okay. to develop the plan process and then you go out to cost and so some of that could change once you get into that point but we would have a general idea of the land that would be required okay. like right now she has overall dimensions the first floor and second floor plan and how much room that would take including the parking lot and right now they have it based off the five lots like where the old high school sat that's initially that was the main goal up front you know years ago to kind of have it there I was just somewhere that they kind of base it off of but of course that's not available or even for sale so okay i know it's far in the future but the idea is that all the departments are moving there and then all these other buildings we're gonna sell off or is that the police plan? and police and fire would still stay i mean not police sorry fire and ems would still stay and stay next door yeah but everyone else water okay uh the last any more comments on that okay. refuge uh, water sewer committee met October the 13th and they meet with Michelle uh -huh. oh, they're working on the new contract they'll okay. be for when 20. is that due at the end of the year uh-huh okay so we got some time all right sent to me today so okay I got it to look at and I guess one more it's not really a committee uh, Ron put uh, Charlie and I on to set in on the meetings that they're having with the Hicksville Splash Pad, Hicksville Community Fund. And we met twice so far with Kyle Jones uh, with Standard Aquatics and just kind of setting in, seeing what their plan is for a splash pad and kind of what uh, the vision might be to include a pool, a splash pad, and a pool house. And we met twice so far, nothing really major other than just kind of some ideas, brainstorming what they're looking into. And we meet again tomorrow at 9 o'clock. So I'll type up some minutes and send everyone. Okay. Administrator's <clears throat> report, Corey. Um, I just got a few things. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to uh, thank our two street department employees, Alan Schooley and, and Garrett Franz. Uh, last week, they were heading back into the park to the uh, parks department maintenance building there, and they had actually found a uh, elderly gentleman who was on the ground at that little turnstile to go into the walking track he was pinned under that and had fell and um, had some bodily injury to his head and everything like that so they end up calling the squad for them and then they also had to disassemble that that little turnstile thing in order for the uh, 
for the EMTs to get him up and into the squad and take him to the hospital. So uh, just things like that that kind of go unnoticed on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, leaf pickup has started today. Uh, we will be working through the month of November. I'm not sure if we'll go into December. We'll kind of just kind of keep an eye on how the leaves and stuff come down. Um, a quick update on the water tower from Caldwell. They will actually be doing the foundation and the water line yet this year uh, for the new tower. Uh, the steel was ordered earlier this <coughs> month and, and it is 120 days out is what they're told for that, for the steel for that. Um, two big things with that tower. Uh, and I don't know how we want to go about this. First of all, we need to figure out what color we want to go with it and then some type of logo for the tank. And I don't know if that's something we all need to discuss. I really don't want to make that decision myself. I'd like to maybe have everybody's input, maybe even the public's input on what we should put on the, on the tank. Um, did get a final number what it would be for that two inch borehole for the well field. I know last we were told it was going to be between 3,000 to 11,000. Uh, the number came in at 8,000 is what it's estimated at. And then tomorrow uh, I will be meeting with Choice One. We're actually going to be down at the pool looking at that um, to see what their thoughts and stuff would be for the demo of a pool and maybe the building of a new pool house and um, kind of getting their, their idea from an engineer standpoint as, as well as the, uh, the pavilion back there with that dirt hill kind of pick their brain a little bit to see how we can fix that water infiltration and then uh, Dalton and myself will be meeting with them to discuss some of the uh, uh, Defiance Avenue lift station. Uh, I've got a lot of questions on that and <coughs> hopefully tomorrow we can get some answers on that. Uh, other than that, that's all I got. Did you mean Joel? <coughs> it's Dalton. Well, I guess, are you going to engage Joel? I'm gonna let yeah, yeah. If, if he comes in, he's been out sick, so. Oh, okay. But Dalton. He's pretty hip on that stuff. So. Yeah. Have we gotten any farther with the easements with the water tower and the? I have not heard back from Verizon. They're supposed to be preparing the easements, so on the for the well field. Did you get your mail that was up there? I didn't, but I will when I okay. before I leave. Yeah, they were. They said they were preparing them, and they get them to me. The, I'm sorry, the AEP. Yep. Yeah. AEP. Our. With choice one, are they just like a pro bono type scenario? Are we actually paying them to look at the pool? Mm -mm. No. Nope. He was coming out to discuss uh, <clears throat> the lift station and look at look at the pavilion. And while he was here, I'd asked him if he would take a look at the pool with me. Yeah, there won't be any any fee there for the pool. Are you pushing them any farther with the fine lift station? They've been working on that project and not really came with a plan. I mean, they've done studies and all kinds of things, and I know the lift station is a big part of it, but they've been working on it. I, I haven't really engaged in too much with the, with the lift station. I know um, on our phase two portion of this, 2026 is the start date, is the start year right. for this. Um, I don't really want to wait that long. And I, like I said, I got a lot of questions. On, on what they have, I guess, designed or come up with so far. I know I don't, I don't foresee us having a building there. I don't think we need a, a building sitting on that corner for a lift station. I think we could save a lot of money with not having a building there. So there's just a lot of, like I said, I kind of got plugged into it years down the road after they had started uh, discussing it and engineering it. So we will meet with them tomorrow and <coughs> update later do we have a deadline associated with the funds for the water tower as far as construction uh, with their lead times is all that in line uh, like completion of the tower yeah I think it's 2024 okay yeah it'll be next through next year I know our obviously our PTI doesn't expire until 2025 for that mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions for the administrator? All good questions. Okay, Corey. 
solicitor's report. You're up, Troy. Uh, first thing I have is resolution 2022-17, a first reading by caption only. A resolution for the village of Hicksville, Ohio to enter into a contract with Bruce Guilford Real Estate and Auctioneering to sell lot number 55 at Edgerton's first edition to the village of Hicksville at public auction and declaring an emergency. Why is it so, an emergency? Just to expedite things so it can be sold. I think that was the whole point of it was so that we didn't have to deal with it anymore yep. you know towards the end of the year or whatever so in order to get it so that we could sell it because we got to run the advertisement for five weeks. five weeks after the sale so if we I mean theoretically did three readings on this and in five weeks would be off into the new year so, yeah. my bus just spend the rules second roll call Barth yes Bassett yes Eggley? Yes. Clipper? Yes. Martin? All right. <laughs> Real quick on this, sorry. We're I know we're declaring an emergency, but do we know, I mean, is it uh, his fee structure and all that stuff? If we just, is that going to be? We talked to Bruce. Yes, I did. That's the best part. Corey did. I did. Is it going to be kind of the same as the last situation as far as the fee structure? We pay, he's paying for the advertising there. We'll, we'll pay for, for all the advertising. Okay. Did we'll just expense Which it. Which we, we did last time as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he had, I mean, we still owe for the advertising. He just paid it up front, basically. And I had, did you receive that contract? I did. Okay. But his fee structure is the same? To be honest with you, I don't recall. So. <clears throat> I recall with Haber Drive, it was, uh, Basically, he just submitted. He was, it was, it was issued as a reimbursable. So, 3%. 3%. Yeah. 3%. It's 3%. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. So I was like, that's the plan. Yeah, 3%. <laughs> so then, yes. Well, I <laughs> declared an emergency. Roll call. Who's the second? Well, we, I was, we'll you had done you had that. To done suspend. Done it was right at to me. Suspend the so I had a question. Oh, okay. But I, so I, everybody said yes. I was. The, I think Martin was the last one. <laughs> I think I said read the second and yes third. Clapper. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. so now we're on the <laughs> second and third readings of resolution 22-17. <laughs> a resolution for the village of Hicksville, Ohio to enter into a contract with Bruce Guilford Real Estate and Auctioneering to sell lot number 55 of Edgerton's first edition to the village of Hicksville at public auction and declaring an emergency. Second. Like Any other second. discussion before we vote? Everybody clear? Mm -hmm. We've talked about it for a long time. Yeah. Okay. Roll call. Barth? Yes. Bassett? Yes. Eggley? Mm -hmm. Yes. Flepper? Yes. Martin? Yes. And the other two things I have on just as an update, I talked to the mayor about it. Um, we got tentative approval for, uh, this is to do with the tower and the spec building out there, um, of waiving the tower company's right of first refusal from their lease. Um, we're still getting some clarification from their legal department in order to make sure that it we're talking about the same thing and we're on the same page so that, um, that Brian Keller is satisfied that what they've said is what he needs them to do and so I called uh, the good the good thing is with their letters and their approval I have two actual names of people in their legal department instead of dealing with somebody in the real estate department so I'm hopeful I called the one this afternoon hoping I could get an update to bring it all I left a message so um, I'm gonna stay after them obviously because that's we need to get that done so that things can move forward the other thing is I sent to Tony, I got a partial done of the ordinances that the ordinance committee, um, the bigger set of them I got done and then the last couple, um, I'm still finalizing some things and I should have those to you this week. But Sounds good. I was waiting to send them until I got all of them. Yeah. yeah. So the one to do with the furniture and the ones just adjusting the stuff to do with the grass, like the grass height and stuff like that, I got the one done to do with the vehicles in the car and the commercial. And actually, when you see it, what I've done, or at least proposed, is taking what we had one ordinance for and actually making it into three. One that addresses uh, like commercial type vehicles and one that separately addresses recreational vehicles. Um, and 
add like a penalty section and things like that. So whatever thoughts there are on that, I mean, that kind of was a, I did a bunch of research on the way they have done it at other places and kind of, it's kind of a hybrid of a few other spots. So um, any questions or comments or somebody thinks something different, let me know. And then, like I said, I'll have the other ones over there this week. I think I got them about two thirds done. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. okay, any other questions for solicitor? I have a question. I had a citizen approach me about raising poultry within the village limits. Raising poultry? Yeah, they want to get like a few chickens, I guess. Uh, I don't think that's permitted, actually. I don't, I'd have to look. I think you could have two. I looked up you can have You can have you limited. You can't, ra you can't have like a poultry farm. Uh -huh. But well, yeah, it's like a few is what yeah, they want. It's got to be 100 feet yeah. away from any residential dwelling. Right. Or, okay. uh, or it might even include building. Okay. Uh, they have to be kept, they have to be pinned. Uh, they can't be free roaming. Okay. Um, I believe. Without, uh, and there is a limit to some extent. <coughs> I, there, there could be. I, I think there's a limit to no like boosters. the numbers. Yeah. It's no, okay. I think there's no, no roosters and like two hens or something. So yeah, like something like that. Yeah. Should, our, yeah, our livestock ordinances are very big. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, I went and they through. might even have just been something that comes from the Ohio Revised Code yeah. that mm -hmm. they passed 80 years ago and never have changed or done. Yeah, there's a whole duck farm. <laughs> Make sure I was in complaints with the bees because <laughs> they're True. considered livestock. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'll pass it or less. Uh, well, you should probably let's up. verify the ordinance probably yeah, before yeah. you. you go on that and just look up livestock under the ordinance and pulls it all up. Yeah, I wasn't able to find. <laughs> I'll see if we can find. Learn it. <laughs> Corey taught me that. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Department heads, chief, police chief. Mm, uh, well, I guess I do because it was we didn't know for sure last time. So I do have another officer leaving. Last day will be this Wednesday. So we are. Uh, I know I already put it on Facebook that we're advertising hiring two to replace two, and uh, it should be coming out in the paper what this week. It's probably. in the Crescent. I saw it in the oh, Crescent paper. already. It's already been okay. Yeah, it's in the Crescent news. So, uh, other than that, Cheryl's got at least start of my budget. So, what's that take you down to now? Full time? Uh, really, we have four. Four. I can't really count Andrew. You yeah. know, because he's still in FTO and just out of the academy. So, I mean, we got five total, but four. Man. Realistic, we have four. So. So some of the, some of us are working 10, 12 hour days. <clears throat> Anything else, Chief? Yeah, Any questions for Chief Denning? with the change of the clock clocks coming up you want to change your smoke detector batteries make sure they're working good and with the cold weather you don't want to plug any heaters you have to use into an extension cord or power outlet strip big fire hazard so that's about it any questions do we offer smoke detectors through the department we do we're out right now okay we get any more in yeah we'll get some in <clears throat> Any other questions for the chief? Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Park. Any but I got anything? I guess it's pretty well shut down now. I'm guessing. They're working. I stopped down there and talked to Val and Gary. They were working on cleaning some stuff up, and I asked them to get their. They turned in their park budget. Um, uh, so they're just kind of cleaning it up for the winter and shutting all the waters down and buttoning it up. So. Okay. Fiscal officer, Cheryl. Um, I don't have a lot of, oh my goodness, yes I do. 
the revolving <laughs> loan. We don't. If you have questions about it, ask me because it's confidential. But <coughs> fund status and cash summary. You have your September mayor's court report, and it's um, going up every time. Get the seventeen hundred dollars was our cut of this last mayor's court. Um, I put in the September Bureau of Labor Statistics report to show you what the economy is doing. <coughs> kind of not matching it. <laughs> <laughs> and to remind you that next week, well, this week, tomorrow and Thursday, you can go to the pharmacy and get your flu shot. Just tell them that you're a village employee and he'll, John will send me the bill. That's all I've got. Any questions for Cheryl? Okay. Um, on the mayor's report, uh, Taylor, what is it? The not a planning. What's the word I'm looking for? You use Maumee Valley to come and. Oh, uh, comprehensive plan or comprehensive or master plan. Master plan. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking into that. Yeah. So um, I got to call on the dentist and get a price. Um, I think we should do that. Absolutely. So you know, keep the industrial here and residential, and <coughs> south of town's going to be developed. Yeah. So well, just a description. I've been talking with Erica Willitzer a little bit about um, getting a master plan done for the community. Um, that way, it's nothing's ever concrete in a master plan. But it actually gets everybody thinking forward about future expansion. It can guide utility projects, it can guide all of those things, um, especially with industrial park and things like that. So um, obviously housing is a big need in the community, so it can help address some of those issues or as far as put a plan in place to address those issues. So Maumee Valley is a uh, source that is more affordable than the private sector. So yeah, I have a call in the dentist again, call me back, so I'm looking into that. I think it's something. Try to get it in the budget. If I can get a price, so mm -hmm. and you, you might get any concerns about that. I'll get more information, but um, Maumee Valley would. I know Strikers had it done recently, so maybe we can get a master plan how they're doing it. I'm sure other communities. So, okay, that's all I have. I was going to tell Corey when we were talking today. Um, we had some applicants for the water department job. I thought that was. Decent, you get some people <laughs> applying for the position. Yep, yep. Cool. yep. I'll interview two people on Friday. Good. Both of them <clears throat> down here. Yeah. Okay. Anything else needs to be brought before this council? Just to discuss, or I guess let everybody know, um, I've also been working with Erica on getting a downtown business a business association established here in Hicksville. So um, there'll be more information coming out pertaining that, but uh, that is in the works. Um, that's part of the presentation. Basically, yeah. some of that stuff that will come out, um, basically what they can do, what, how it's beneficial to the community, and a lot of times it can handle like social programming, um, help shape what the downtown looks like, engage um, downtown businesses. And I mean, it doesn't just have to be downtown businesses either, but um, just help. Uh, I'm trying to think of the word here. Help. It continue the work that's happening in town, basically. Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Make motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Roll call. Barth? Yes. Bassett? Yes. Martin? Yes. Eggley? Yes. Flipper? Yes. <laughs> Reminder next meeting will be in three weeks. I'll check it for you. Oh, yeah. yeah, Saturday, 4-6. Yeah. November 7th. Yep, next may be three weeks, November 7th, so. Okay. Check. Mm -hmm.